The Shell tool in 3D Coats is a relatively new addition in 3D Coats, at least in the 4.5 cycle. And you'll find it handy in the right situation, especially when you're wanting to add some thickness to a relatively thin object. For example, on this helmet, I have an outer mesh that I want to create uh, some thickness by using this shell tool. Previously, to do this, the best way to handle it would be to use your AppLink connection plugin to send the mesh to your host 3D application and use its shell modifier, but now you can just do that right here inside of 3D Code. So the first thing I want to mention is that you need to select the polygons because it will extrude just the selected polygons if you were to select only a part of it. In this case, I want to extrude the entire mesh. So I can click the Select All Faces on Layer icon here, or I could just double tap on the faces when I'm in Faces mode. So as you can tell, it works through the Select tool. And if I click on the Shell tool here in the Selected section, I now have a gizmo and the Tool Options panel pops up. The parameter here just allows you to make incremental steps, but the gizmo is more of a freeform means of performing the extrusion. No matter which handle you grab, if you pull downward or inward, uh, that's the direction it's going to extrude. If I were to push the handles outward to start off with, again, it's going to extrude outward instead of inwardly. So let's go ahead and just tug on this just a little bit. I can see the extrusion. If I want to commit a row of edges here, maybe midway, I could choose Commit Extrusion. That way I don't have to use the Split Rings tool to go back and, and apply some supporting edge loops. So again, let's extrude just a little bit more. And hit apply and now I can hit escape to drop the tool hit escape once more to drop the selection and I'm pretty much done so that's a quick look at the shell tool inside 3D Coats Retopology Workspace thank you for watching we'll see you in the next video